call to order. This is the seventh regular meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council, and our city clerk, Sue Richards, will read us the quote of the evening. Thank you, Mayor. For changes to be of any true value, they've got to be lasting and consistent. Thank you, Sue. Roll call, please. Belt. Here. Boren. Here. Carlson. Here. Decker. Here. Hammond. Here. Heideman. Here. Koth. Here. Kittleson. Here. Matichek. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Raisler. Excused. Sampson. Here. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. And Versi. Here. 14 present. We have a quorum. Now, if we can all stand, and Alderman Heideman will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Joe. Looking for approval of the minutes of the prior Common Council meeting. President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that we approve the previous minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes. Under discussion? There is no discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Minutes are approved. Resignations. Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. There's a communication from Mark Hanna to the city clerk advising that as of Friday, June 24th, he residing in District 2 and no longer within his aldermanic district and therefore resigning. Thank you, Steve. Looking for a motion? Uh, thank you. I move that we accept the resignation of Alderman Hanna and in doing so to uh, thank him for his uh, long service in the council. Second. We have a motion and, accept, and a second to accept and file the resignation under discussion. There is none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public forum. None this evening. No public forum this evening. Uh, we have uh, the election of the chairperson of the Committee of the Whole. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, do I need to uh, call to order the mm -hmm. Committee of the Whole? Okay. I call to order the uh, Committee of the Whole for the purpose of electing the chairperson. Second. Okay. Uh, I look for a uh, nominations from the floor for the position of Committee of the Whole chairperson. Uh, and if there are more than one, uh, we uh, eliminate the lowest uh, vote getter until we have uh, a, a candidate who earns the majority. Second. Is there a motion first? Um, motion made. Motion so moved. Second. Okay. Now accept nominations from the floor. Is there any nominations from I'd the like floor? I'd like to nominate uh, Alderman Bourne of the 4th District for the Committee of the Whole Chairman. Second. Second. <coughs> motion made to, to nominate Alderman Bourne. Is there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? See none, I asked uh, uh, for a motion to uh, 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 cast a unanimous ballot for Alderman Bourne uh, to be Committee of the Whole Chairperson. So moved. moved. Second. Motion made second. All in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Do I need to adjourn now? <laughs> you need to adjourn. <laughs> Okay. Motion made second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 We stand adjourned. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, under Mayor's announcements, first of all, I would like to welcome uh, Mayor Rob and our contingent from Essling, and they've been in our town for uh, three or four days now. Mm -hmm. uh, we were able to tour the fire department today. We toured the police department, and we toured the sewage treatment plant. Um, they've been staying at the Blue Harbor. Uh, some of you may have seen them on the 4th of July at the parade and all. They were kind enough to be in our parade. And we do have a farewell uh, Bon Voyage uh, gathering at the Highland House after this meeting. That is, all, all aldermen are, are invited to that, and that is why we are holding the meeting early. So, welcome, folks. And we've had a great time. Okay, I would like to uh, announce we do have an alder person vacancy with Alderman Hanna moving out of his district and resigning from, uh, the, from District 1. So we have an alderman's, alderman, aldermanic vacancy in District uh, 1, Wards 1 and 2. 
uh, if you would like to uh, campaign for this position, it's one of the easiest ways to campaign for aldermen, simply drop, drop off a letter of interest and hopefully a biography of why you want to be an alderman and what your qualifications are to the city's clerk, to the city clerk office by Friday, July 15th. The election for the position will be held on Monday, July 18th. So all interested persons will be given an opportunity to speak. We normally hold that to five minutes before the council at that time. Um, and the, that alder person then elect will be sworn in on Monday, August 1st. So anybody who is interested in becoming an alder person uh, in District 1, now is the opportunity. So that is all I have for mayor's announcements. Moving on to the consent agenda, consent agenda 7-1 through 7-8. President Rinflesh. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that uh, all report of committees, all report of officers, um, and does not seem to be any uh, resolutions uh, be accepted and adopted. So again. Alderman Gordon, did you have anything? Uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, is that District 1 where Alderman Hanna was? I thought that was no. District 7. It is. It is District 7. Oh. District 7, correct. I was looking at the new map. It is District 7. I'm okay. sorry. And then that would be up on the far north side of town then? <laughs> that is up on the far north side of town? Yeah. Correct. He's on... Um, it's District 7, Lisa. soon to be District 1? He's on Lisa Avenue. Okay. So we have uh, to go with what it is now, though. Right. And, and another, uh, uh, just a note, with the district changes, uh, whoever does run for that position may want to note what the new districts are going to be because uh, they may be uh, out of their district come the next uh, election cycle in the spring. So. Thank you. Okay, consent agenda 7 1 through 7 8, President Rinfleisch. Yep. We have a motion and a second on the consent agenda. Under discussion on the consent agenda, Alderman Boren, did you have anything? Or it was no. just, okay, thank you. On the consent agenda, <coughs> if there is no discussion, roll call, please. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Van Akron? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Communications and petitions, 7 9 and 7 10 to be referred. Reports of officers 2, 7 11 through 7 14 to be referred. <clears throat> Resolutions introduced 3, 7 15 by Alderman Hammond, authorizing entering into an agreement with Grafe to prepare a conservation plan for the Shukert Farms property. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would ask that we suspend the rules on this one. Um, we're working with the DNR and time is of the essence um, to get this in so that the next phase of the project can start. Second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? If there is not, the rules are suspended. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Under discussion, if I may just comment, uh, this is a $40,000 grant that we got for preparing the conservation plan uh, for the future green corporate business park. And we need to have this finished by September 30th, I believe. So that's why the rules are suspended. Any discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. And Belt? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 716 by Alder Persons. Boren, Carlson, Sampson, and Versi requesting the fire chief to draft a long range plan for the city of Sheboygan Fire Department by the second council meeting of August 2011. We have a motion. I'd like to have make a motion to suspend the rules. Yeah. Second. And for, for, for further discussion, just giving them an extra two weeks time. You know, it's, we've had the time already, just giving them a little extra time on top of this. I'd like to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. We have to find out first if everybody's in oh. favor of suspending. Okay, is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? Aye. We have one opposition to the rules being suspended. 
Okay, we do have opposition. We'll have to have a roll call vote on suspending the rules. Why do we need to suspend the rules? Right. If you could just explain. Um, just give me an extra two weeks time. Couldn't push the of. couldn't push the time limit out two extra weeks instead of the second council meeting in August. Put it at the first or second one in September. Sure. I, I mean, <laughs> the reason this was something that was actually supposed to be December thirty first. So most of it should be done. I would okay, we're going to take a roll call vote on suspending the rules, and I vote will suspend the rules on this subject. And we need a three-quarters vote. And we need a three-quarters vote in order to suspend the rules. Alder Person Kittleson, Thank would you, you like to speak on suspension? I would like to speak on suspension. Okay, Again, please do. Um, I need to suspend the rules be because I guess I'm not understanding, again, not, why would we need to suspend the rules on this? Suspension of the rules? Alder, Alderman Versi, Alder, Alderman Versi, would you like to reiterate? Sure. <laughs> just, given the extra, okay. thanks, Mayor. just given the extra two weeks, um, the way I see it is most of this probably should have been done, probably was done before the December 31st deadline came. Um, adding this to it just um, to give us budget time as well because August is also in finance when this is going to be talked about. So having this done by that time period is going to be more adequate and also more um, fulfilling in the finance uh, committee knowing where it's going. So. Okay, any other discussion on suspension of the rules? If there is none, we will do a roll call vote on yes, suspension. Eric. Oh, President Rinflesh, please. Uh, thank you. Um, uh, on my own behalf, uh, I would be very interested in seeing this report. Uh, knowing that we are entering the budget cycle and budget process. Uh, this is information that I think is probably already ex in existence uh, in the sense of a long-range plan. I know the police chief and, and the mayor had taken trips around um, other areas. Fire that, chief. Fire chief, excuse me. Did I say the police chief? Uh, the fire chief and the mayor had taken a, a trips around various communities, seen some other plans. Um, I, I think the information is already there. Uh, my own aspect, I would like to see the information that I can use when the budget time comes through. Well, how can we... Uh, uh, best staff, uh, best protect our community, best fund the, the staffing that we need for that community as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm confident that the, the, the second week in August is probably enough time. I don't think we're asking for anything that the council hasn't asked for before. Uh, so I think it's, it's in existence and it will definitely help me, at least personally, come, come budget time to make those tough decisions that we have to make. Thank you. Okay, any further discussion? We are only discussing dis suspension of the rules. Alderman Hammond. Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Are we looking at just suspending the rules to extend out the August 15th? No. Okay, we're, we're, what's, what's the issue of having to suspend the rules then as opposed to not? Just, just some clarity. President Red Flesh. Sure. Uh, as, a, as a new resolution, uh, it all needs to lie over uh, for another next council meeting or be referred somewhere and then come back to the next council meeting. Um, as a new re uh, resolution, unless we suspend the rules. Uh, and then it becomes, if it's, the rules are suspended and it's, the resolution is passed, that uh, would certainly direct the fire chief then to present the report that uh, uh, these all, all persons are looking for right now. Um, if we don't suspend the rules, basically nothing happens for two more weeks. Um, one would assume that the fire chief that would still be working on that in, in, just okay. in case, but that way there, there's no doubt you know, if that's gonna pass or not. So that's, that's the reason why for the suspension, so we don't, it doesn't have to lie over to the next time. Thank you, President Ridfleisch. Still under discussing suspension of the rules, Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I guess I'm just again, Alderman Van Akron. helping to clarify. Excuse me. I'm just helping to clarify or looking for some clarification. If we don't suspend the rules, this will then go to a committee and be discussed in that committee and then brought back as everything else is, or it will just be. I guess that that would be my question. It's it, the way it lies now. Without suspending it, it will go to committee and come back. With suspending this, this would be acted this, on. This is right not now. Uh, uh, headed to a committee right now. Okay. If somebody would like to refer it to a committee, they could. In discussing suspension of the rules, we're simply discussing that it would um, not lie over for two weeks. Okay. But there would be no committee discussion because this is not being referred to a committee, it's being uh, directed. So. Okay, any further discussion on suspension of the rules? We will do a roll call vote. A yes vote will suspend the rules. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? No. Heideman? Aye. 
Koth? Aye. Kittleson? No. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? No. And Boren? Aye. Ten eyes, four no's. Okay, we don't have a uh, three quarters vote for suspension, so the rules are not suspended. Uh, this will lie over to the next meeting, unless somebody wants it referred to committee for discussion. All the person Kittleson. So, thank you, Mayor. We can't discuss here. We want it. Uh, we cannot discuss here then this evening. Or can we make a different another motion? Or uh, this would just lie over this evening. So this will just yes. Without suspending the rules, it lies over. Correct, Attorney McLean. Yes. It could be discussed in committee before it comes back. Then I guess I'd like to make a, a motion to refer this to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Second. We have a motion and a second to refer to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Does this require a vote? Um, yeah, just not a roll call vote. Okay. Okay. Uh, under discussion on referring to PPNS, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. <clears throat> I really see no purpose in uh, referring this to public protection and safety. The council asked for this uh, long range plan for the fire department last year and somehow it got waylaid somewhere along the process. So we've been asking this, asking for this reorganization or long term plan for almost a year now and sending it to the committee to rehash what we've already discussed over the last year to get a, a, a long range plan for the fire department doesn't seem necessary to me. Uh, even though this lies over for the next two weeks, uh, I think the chief should start working on his long range plan and have it ready for August 15th. In fact, he should have been working on it all this time even though it hasn't come to fruition. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boyd. <clears throat> I do believe we need to remember that uh, the reason that the, the, there was no reorganization of the fire department was that the council accepted um, a pay freeze from the fire department. And at that point then they were guaranteed X amount of positions. That's why nothing was done in the fire department over the, over the budget year 2011 that we're in right now. So that is, uh, it didn't, didn't disappear. It was, it's pretty hard to reorganize something if you have the, a guaranteed staff. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Uh, we also have a strategic fiscal plan that is out there that we're waiting uh, for uh, the ladies from Whitewater to come back. And I think that that's uh, what we were waiting for with, with all departments. Uh, they were going to give us some direction as to uh, which way we were to go uh, as well. And, and I also believe if we're asking for a long range plan from the, the fire department, then we need to be asking for a long range plan from every department. Um, I think this council needs to give some direction as far as the budget goes. Um, what, what direction are we going? Um, and I believe the, maybe the mayor and the finance director has already started the budget process, but I think that that's what we need to look at. And I think in the committee, at our committee, uh, public protection and safety, I plan to put those issues on the agenda uh, very soon. That's so we can start talking about the budget and what direction we want to go in. Thank you. Thank you, Alderperson Kittleson. Alderman Bourne. Thank you again, Mayor Ryan. Uh, the key to this, and we asked for this last year, was a long, a long range plan. That's what we asked for last year. Even though our ties, our hands were tied for this budget year, <clears throat> that's fine. But the key is long range plan, and that's what we asked for last year. We didn't get that, and even though we couldn't do anything because of uh, bargaining for 2011, uh, the chief could have still came uh, uh, forward with his long range plan for 2012, 2013 and beyond. So I, I just think it's, uh, it's a waste of time for that to go back to the committee. It's been hashed over and it's been hashed over. I think it's time for the chief to move on and present his plan for the future for his department. Thank you. Thank you again, Alderman Bourne. <coughs> Alderman Versi. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, one of the main reasons too is um, the chief always asks, he comes up in front of us and asks for direction. When we try and ask him, to just break it down in his own words, in his own way, he says, well, what does the council want? What's the direction the council wants? Well, this is kind of giving him a little bit of direction, but we can't give too much direction because then we're micromanaging. 
So this is giving him that little bit of direction that he needs, that he's been asking for. Now he can go ahead and go with this direction. So thank you. Thank you again, Alderman Versi. Alderman Van Akron. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I agree with this going to our committee. I believe uh, it'll give the opportunity to ask some questions as to the three items that are being brought up in this resolution. It'll also give us a chance to, I guess, discuss with the fire chief the effects of what these three proposals will have. Um, and I think it's just a good opportunity to, I guess, discuss these options that are being brought forward and, I guess, discuss the effects of that and discuss whether or not this is really the best uh, route to take from here on out. Okay. All we're discussing right now is sending this to committee. Um, can, we, can we just take a vote on sending it to committee? Alderman Versi, last time. Thank you, one last time. Right. Well, then, if, if that's such a concern of going to committee, then it shouldn't go to just PP and ask, go to committee the whole then and have every aldermatic, alder, alderman in this room have uh, partaken that, not just PPNS. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Versi. But right now we're discussing referring it to PPNS, and I would like a roll call vote. Can we, can we do that at this point? Roll call vote, please. A yes vote would be to send to PPNS. Uh, Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? No. Koth? No. Nelson? Aye. Matichak? No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rinfleisch? No. Sampson? No. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? No. Belt? Aye. Boren? No. Carlson? No. Six ayes, eight noes. Okay, motion fails to send it to PPNS. Would somebody like to make a motion for Committee of the Whole? So moved. President Rinfleisch, do we Back have on. a second on sending it to Committee of the Whole without discussing it for the next half hour? <laughs> Does anybody have any input? Okay. We will take a, because I know it'll be a split vote, a roll call vote on sending this to Committee of the Whole for discussion. Sue? And I vote would be Committee of the Whole. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Hiddleston? Aye. Matichak? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Percy? Aye. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 14 ayes. Okay, we'll be referred to the Committee of the Whole. Committee of the Whole Chairman Boren, you will set that date? Yes, I will. Thank you. Moving on. 717 by Alderpersons Hammond, Rinfleisch, Boren, Matichek, and Van Akron authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into contract for thermal imaging camera for the fire department. Alderman Hammond. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, I need to uh, nope. suspend the rules. <laughs> second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Explanation? Sure. Um, we got a donation for these cameras, and so now they just want to enter into the contract to buy the cameras. There's no um, really money out of our pocket for this. Okay, is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? Any opposition? The rules are suspended. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. If there is no discussion, roll call, please. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Kath? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. 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 Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. 718 by Alder Persons Hammond, Rinfleisch, Boren, Matichek, and Van Akron implementing the City of Sheboygan pickup of an employee, employee retirement contributions pursuant to IRS 414H2. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Uh, motion to file. We have a motion to file. Is there a second? Second. We have a motion to file and a second under discussion. Um, Hammond. After the budget bill was passed, the Senate or they, they passed Act 32, which gave guidance to local municipalities on what um, on collecting these payments on a pre-tax basis. So really, we're filing it because we don't have to do anything with it. Okay, motion and a second to file. Under discussion? Thank you, Alderman Hammond. You're welcome. Under discussion. President Flesh, anything on that? Uh, no, just one second for next Very one. Good. 
Okay. If there's no further discussion, roll call, please. I can do it all wise. Okay. Let's just uh, take a uh, all vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 719 lies over. 720 and 721 to be referred. Report of Committee 6, 722 lies over. 723 to be referred. Report of Committee 7, 724 by law and licensing recommending denying beverage operators application number 9137 based upon the applicant's record of violations related to the licensed activity. Um, law and licensing, Alder Person Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. file. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and place on file under discussion. Okay, is Chelsea Pettick here tonight? She's here, yeah. Chelsea, would you like to be heard on this? Yes. Please step up to the mic. And under discussion, I was not at that meeting, so um, Eric's gonna kind of fill us Chelsea, in Chelsea, what's your last name? Pettick. P-E-T-E-K? Yes. Okay. Okay, um, uh, as she just directed, I can offer explanations for every one of the uh, candidates that come forward, except for this one, I need to abstain, as I know her quite well, so. Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> who, who was on the, uh, who else was on the committee that's familiar with this? This was Alderman Hanna's committee, who is no longer here, so. Alderperson Kath, please. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, Chelsea Pettit came before our committee and uh, there was a two to one vote to deny one abstention. And uh, we're looking at, there are four offenses. The fourth offense you did tell our committee uh, for shoplifting. And you really didn't need the license, my understanding, because you got a full time job at a local grocery store working in the deli. Is that? Um, I would like to kind of amend my statements okay. that I made at the last meeting. Okay. Um, and I'm not working full time in the deli at, I'm working part time. Um, I need the license to help out with my family's business so I can bartend and be there alone. And I also need it while working at festival if I would like to say transfer to being a checker or anything like that. People come through, they buy beer, I need my license to do that. If I don't have this license I'll be stuck in the deli and that could pose um, professional problem. Can, can I ask for the benefit of the council? You had four violations? Yes, when I was can 15. You, can you explain what those were and when the last one happened and what it was? Sure. When I was 15, I shoplifted. It was like one incident, but it was at a couple different stores in the mall, which is why I was charged with three then. And then in March at Walmart, I was with some people and we made stupid mistakes, and I did not try to hide my mistakes. I paid my dues. I put it out there, and I accepted, and I'm, it's not going to happen again, and that's. So that was this past, this past March? Yes. March of 2011? Yes. Okay. Is there any uh, questions from the council? Alderman Bourne? Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, Ma'am, where will you be working with your... Uh, your beverage license right now. If, you, if, if we grant it, where will you be working? Pettick's Tavern. Pettick's Tavern? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> you said that's your parents' business? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, any other, any further questions from the council? Any further discussion? You may sit down. Thank you. Okay. We will uh, do a roll call vote on this. Um, yes. And an an I, I vote, vote would deny the license. Right. A no vote will grant the license. Heidemann? No. Koth? No. Kittleson? No. Manichak? No. Rinfleisch? Abstain. Uh, Samson? No. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? No. Versi? No. Belt? No. Warren? No. Carlson? No. Decker? No. And Hammond? No. Uh, one abstention and 13 no's. So the RC is. <coughs> okay. That was a vote uh, to, to not hold up the RC. We need another vote to grant the license. Would somebody like to make a motion? 
Alderman Versi. Thank you, Your Honor. I'd like to make the motion to grant her license. Second. Motion and a second to grant the license under discussion. All in favor of granting the license say state aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Abstain. So it has to be a roll call. Okay, we need a roll call on this, so let's. That's what I say. Okay. An aye vote would be to grant. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichak? Aye. Rinfleisch? Abstain. Sure. I knew that. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. And Heidemann? Aye. 14, oh, I'm sorry, 13 ayes and one extension. <laughs> okay, the license is granted. You will have to go to the city clerk's office in order to <laughs> pay for your license and pick it up. Not now. <laughs> no, not right now. It'll be like tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on, 725 by law and licensing, recommending denying beverage operators application number 9126 based on the applicant's failure to accurate, accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application, his record of violations related to the licensed activity, and his record as an habitual law violator. Hold it, person Vanderweel. I move the ROB accepted and placed on file. Second. Is uh, Wesley Melton here tonight? He is, Your Honor. Um, under discussion, I do see that it was um, a denial. Four, to, four denied it. Um, no one approved it. And there's quite a lengthy uh, list of, of um, violations. Um, the most recent ones are bail jumping and disorderly conduct, <coughs> which occurred in 2010. Okay. Mr. Melton, would you like to speak on this? Yes, sir. Please step forward. Wesley, it's M E L T O N. M E L, yes. M E L T O N. You might want to pull the mic down just a little bit. There you go. Hey, Mr. Melton, can you explain? Would, would you like me to take an oath first, or that's not no. necessary? No, that's not necessary here. First of all, I did write a letter to the Common Council. Was that received? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's just as, a, as a response, since uh, the city attorney. It is. It is a ha have you all had a chance to read it? 737. 737 is the document. 7-37 under other matters. Okay. Thank you. Is, is it, has everyone had a chance to read my letter? Mm -hmm. Again. Okay. Well, I'll just go on. Um, I did that because I got this letter from the city attorney, Charles Adams. I did a little bit of research and my record is not as bad as he had presented. I don't know how some things got messed up. The, there was a case number or ticket number D7264 that was dismissed. And he said that I owed some money. I got a receipt here from the, from the municipal court. I don't know any money. Everything's paid over there. And um, ba basically, um, read my letter. I just, I had a very difficult time when my wife became ill. Um, I was extremely emotionally traumatic experience and um, resorted to too much alcohol use. Those times are over. I've since completed an outpatient AODA program. I completed a, successfully completed a year of probation. Um, I've been volunteering at Family Connections for two and a half years. I'm starting my junior year of college. I'm a responsible person. I love this community. I've made it my home. I've been here almost seven years. And I plan on staying here and raising my daughter here. And, um, Working at Faye's Pizza part time, uh, getting more hours in the summer because of, you know, I'm not in school right now. They don't sell much alcohol, but they have a lot of underage people there, and uh, it's necessary for me every once in a while to serve one or two bottles of maybe uh, maybe three or four bottles of, of beer a week. It's really not a drinking establishment. You guys all know Faye's Pizza. Um, the owners trust me. I'll never be working alone there um, with alcohol. The owners always get there to open up the place and warm up the ovens and everything. And um, I was licensed for um, in the state of Virginia and states of California for been in the field for over 22 years. Never had a single violation as far as alcohol service. And I just you know I, I my record looks really bad. I admit it, and it's terrible. I didn't do anything really really heinous, but. Um, I, 
I made a bad decision, it doesn't mean I can't do my job. You know, just when I was depressed and everything. I, oh, I also completed a year and a half of uh, counseling with Toby Watson's office, personal individual counseling. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Uh, President Rinflesh. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Um, I was present at the, that meeting, uh, so I'll give a little more information to the, the committee uh, for those that are, are, are wondering. Um, the information that we received from the Assistant City Attorney uh, is as follows. Uh, Mr. Melton received a 2005 misdemeanor bail jumping, which is actually a felony, a 2005 third offense OWI, a 2006 battery, and a 2006 disorderly conduct. So those were revealed on the application. Um, what he should have revealed the following. Uh, disorderly conduct in 2005, an OWI third in 2005, uh, disorderly conduct in 06, another disorderly conduct in 06, another disorderly conduct in 06, another disorderly conduct in 06, battery in 06, bail jumping in 06, annoying phone calls in 06, disorderly conduct in 08, disorderly conduct in 08, child neglect in 08, resisting in 08, theft in 08, disorderly conduct in 09, OWI 4th in 2009, OWI related op operating after revocation in 2009, bail jumping in 2010, bail jumping in 2010, and disorderly conduct in 2010. Um, Mr. Melton should have revealed all violations. He also owes the city $271.50 via the circuit court, not the municipal court, uh, the circuit court, that must be paid before the license may be issued if granted. This is his first chance to appear in a new application. Um, Mr. Melton did appear and did cooperate with the committee uh, in answering questions. Um, the new application is significant because once the li uh, app license is granted, it's, you have to go through the process of the quasi-judicial hearing to take it away for a particular reason, but the bar is set uh, a little bit higher when you grant a new license uh, to make sure that you're giving it to the right candidate. Uh, Mr. Melton today li listed one case dis uh, is d as dismissed. Um, we did now have an information uh, at the committee level uh, that may be entirely true. Um, the background check is done in, in multiple ways in the city attorney's office. Uh, it's not only CCAP, but it's also the municipal court, circuit court uh, as well. Um, Mr. Melton did also mention that he would not be working alone, and as such, if there was another licensed bartender on premise uh, with direct supervision, he would not actually need the license. Uh, so using that information, we did uh, vote to deny uh, four zero. Thank you. Thank you, President Rinflesh. Is there any other questions for Mr. Melton from the council? Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so you're, what you're telling us uh, is that you will still be able to keep your job um, if you are not granted the license? I, um, I don't know. Is that, that the understanding? Be, that, that would be, I, I, didn't, I didn't make that statement. I'm, I'm, I'm just questioning that. Maybe someone from the committee would be able to my, my answer that. He wouldn't be able to hold down a job yet at Faye's Pizza if he did not have the liquor license. President Ehrenflesch. Thank To you. clarify, that statement was not made in committee. It was made just now um, in this council chamber saying that he would not be working alone, um, okay. that, that there would be other people there uh, as well, which to me means that if he's not working alone, he doesn't necessarily need to have the license to serve beer as long as there's a direct supervision of someone with a license. Uh, that was not his statement, that is the direct statement, that was a statement using the information he has given this evening. Uh, my personal uh, opinion is Mr. Melton uh, did go through a, a rough stretch, uh, and um, my personal opinion is, is that uh, he seems to be trustworthy in getting his life together and doing the right things, but uh, with that lengthy history and with things as, as recent as a year ago in 2010, I look at that record and how do I then deny somebody else? who may not be uh, as a good person. And I leave it to the council to, to go with their you know, with the gut instinct, what they feel, but uh, the way that the committee looks at it as well was to say, with this lengthy record, uh, that will, if we grant this one, what right do we have to deny somebody else down the road? Thank you. President Rinfleisch. Alder Person Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, may I ask, you're working full time at Fa you are working full time at Phase Pizza. How? What is your job situation? Right now, I. Oh, this is way too loud. Um, mm -hmm. that, that is a good question. My schedule is dependent on this because uh, everyone else is underage, and the owner cannot be there all the time for me. Um, so that's just the way. I, you know, it's what I do for livelihood. It's what I've done for almost 23 years, and like I said, I've. I, I really don't think that 
some of the bad decisions I made when I was under the influence of depression are, are really relevant to my capabilities uh, to perform my job that I've done for over two decades. Last offense, may I ask one more time? When was the last offense? So, uh, I got convicted uh, last year, but it, it happened uh, summer of 2009, when right after I got divorced. I was have also separated from my child for six months. And your fines as well? You still have an outstanding? Um, no, everything is, everything's paid. I checked with circuit court and municipal court. And every, okay. I, I still have to make $25 uh, payments towards my circuit court. But you uh, have court, that worked court, out? Court costs, yes. I, I'm, on, I'm up to date with that. Thank you. Thank you, Pres President Kittleson, Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I guess my concern would be is that was a rather lengthy list of, of information that was excluded from the application. In, in, all, in all fairness, I didn't fill out the application. Some, someone else did. They, they asked me a couple of questions. That's all. It was very informal. I never even saw an application. I guess that would be an even greater concern of mine than uh, for filling out an application that's for you to allow somebody else to fill it in. It still, it still doesn't excuse the fact that there was even more information not included on that application, whether you filled it in or somebody else filled it in. All they did was ask me questions. I, 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 didn't see I understand. Questions. I understand that, but there's still a great deal of information that was not included on that, and now I, I guess I, I kind of see why. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Sampson. Alder Person Kath. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, Leslie, I appreciate the fact that you've acknowledged that you've had a few bad decisions, but you've had 26 bad decisions since 2005. And that is why the committee. 20, that's not what my record says. I understand that, but this is the information that the <clears throat> attorney had given us at the committee, 26 bad decisions since 2005. And that's why the committee law and licensing uh, denied the license 40. Well, I'll, be, I'll ask the Department of uh, Office of uh, Lawyer Regulation to check into his statements because they're false. OK, does anybody have anything else? President Rinflesh. Thank you. Um, this. Uh, Issue comes up occasionally uh, within law and licensing of the application process. It is electronically at the desk. It is completed there. Uh, but there's something very significant that uh, Attorney Adams brings up uh, consistently. The last step is that it is printed out for the applicant, and there's a signature line. The signature line, I don't have the exact word, says that all knowledge is complete uh, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, and the applicant has to sign that. Uh, so I understand that, that the process of completing that, it might be confusing, uh, it might be embarrassing listing everything at that point in time, uh, but there's a signature in a document that says that it's completed to the best of his uh, knowledge. Um, there are substantial amounts of things that were left off. Uh, some things may have been, because you know, uh, we don't have all the details of that, something happened, as we heard pr previously, one incident is actually three charges, that may be the case, and then the applicant only lists one, but it's extensive. The other thing that the committee often looks at is the time factor between the last um, incident and the, and, and the current date. And uh, as Alderman Vanderweel pointed out, that uh, the most recent ones were uh, three of them in, in 2010, uh, a year distance in the past. Uh, often we do look at someone's lengthy history, but if nothing's happened recently, we can say, well, obviously this person has turned over a new leaf. Uh, my concern is in the last three years, um, that, that the last three incidents happened a year ago, excuse me, that, that, that's probably not the case. So again, I'm not up here to, to beat up on somebody saying that uh, they're not worthy, they're not a decent human being. Um, the purpose of the committee is to protect public safety. And by doing so, to make sure that we only grant licenses to those that we're confident will, will have the public safety in mind. And in my opinion, the record does not show that this time. Okay, so thank you, Alder. President Rindfleisch. Is there any further questions for Mr. Melton? If there are none, you may sit down, sir. Thank you. Okay, we will uh, do a roll call vote on this. Um, an I vote would deny the license. A no vote would not. So, kind of, uh, uh, <clears throat> <laughs> what was that? That was an I. Thank you. <laughs> Kittleson. Aye. Matichek. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Percy. Aye. Belt. Aye. Warren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. No. And Heidemann. Aye.
13 ayes, one no. The license is denied. Sir, you may reapply again next year. So we, I can revisit this in a year? Yes. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, moving on. 726 by law and licensing recommending denying <laughs> beverage operators application number 9082 based on the applicant's failure to accurately accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his application and his record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alder person Vanderwill. Thank will. you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion to accept and placed on place on file Is under Nathan, discussion. Is Nathan Tenpis here tonight? He's not here. Please continue. Um, basically, uh, he had revealed one violation when he should have revealed um, a few others that happened previously, and the committee denied him um, three to one. Very good. Is there any further discussion? There is no discussion. Roll call, please, and I vote would deny the license. Kittleson? Aye. Manachek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Belt. Aye. Warren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. And Koth. No. Thirteen ayes, one no. Motion carries. 727 by law and licensing recommending denying beverage operators application number 9115 based on the applicant's record of violations related to the licensed activity. Once again, Alderperson Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Is Jeffrey Wally here tonight? He is not here, Your Honor. Um, he had, it was a new license and he revealed the 2009 resisting and a pending OWI and he had actually been convicted of the OWI and has lost an appeal to the Court of Appeals. And he owes 88.80 in court fines, and the committee denied him four to zero. Thank you, Alderperson Vander. We all under discussion? There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Matterchuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Cuff. Aye. Ann Kittleson. Aye. 14 ayes. Okay, 728 by law and licensing, making no recommendation on beverage operators license for Mike Gruno. Um, we just have to have a motion. Motion to file. Um, Actually, the committee did not decide what to do, so now the council has to decide what okay, to do. Okay, so the committee had a tie vote on this? Grant or not grant. Okay. Um, Alderperson Vanderwill. So I'm making a motion to accept and place on file or yeah. to accept, accept, and, accept and adopt. Accept, accept and, and adopt. Under discussion, do you have information on Mr. Gruno? Um, he, it was a 2 2 vote, and uh, let's see. In 1997, he had a felony eluding officer causing death. Um, and it, I have in, from uh, Julie's notes, nobody, di nobody died. <laughs> uh, 2001, contempt of court. <laughs> That's what I have. Um, and then in 2002, 2003, 2005, and 2006, he had disorderly conducts. And in 2008, he had a trespassing. And I think um, Alderman Rundflesh would probably be able to give you a little bit more of what actually happened at the committee. President Rinfleisch, please. Nobody died. Nobody died? <laughs> Nobody died. Nobody died, okay. Um, we thought that was unusual, too, to have a uh, felony looting officer causing death um, and uh, with actually no death involved. Um, given an explanation by the city, assistant city attorney, it's possible that that got amended or something. Somehow on the record, it doesn't necessarily show it. It is from 1997. Uh, and... Um, um, he did, uh, let's see, he didn't, yeah, he did not reveal that or the uh, disorderly conducts. I think our concern uh, for those that, you know, it was a 2 2 tie, so it could have gone either way, really, depending on if Alderman Hanna was there or not to, I'm sorry, if Alderman Vanderbilt was there or not to decide. Um, but um, uh, my personal opinion was that uh, he, Mr. Gruno is, is beyond that uh, stage in his life. Uh, it's been 2000, since 2008, three, uh, so three years. 
at least since the trespass in 06, so five years since anything uh, that the committee really is concerned about this early conduct is one of those issues that we frown upon. Uh, but I couldn't get over the uh, felony eluding officer from, uh, I guess, well, 14 years ago now. Was Mr. Gruno told he could appear before the council this evening? And I don't believe he's here. He's not. Okay. Thank you, President Renflesh. <laughs> Under further discussion, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, somebody from the committee can tell me where uh, Mr. Gruno intends on working with this license, and also, was there a recommendation from your p police representative to the committee as to whether you should grant or not? President Renfleisch, you got the job. Oh, all the person got it. There we go. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Um, Mike Gruno, his parents own Slides and he'll be working at Slice. Um, he's also a, a full-time online student, and um, he's, at this time he does have kids, and he has not had anything on his record for the last three years, so I was one of, them, one of the aldermen that voted to give the license. Thank you. President Renflesh. And the second part of your question is the, uh, we did not have a representation oh. uh, from the police department that day. Uh, so we don't really know uh, what the, the recommendation would have been in that case. Uh, it's something that I take very seriously. Obviously, it may have happened a long time ago, but uh, um, the reason I voted to deny was based off of that. But again, it's, it's been a long time, and I think that as a person, he's probably changed. This is a situation also where he would be working for a family business, if it, if it matters to the council. Um, I know Mr. Gruno's not here, but he did call my office on this on this matter, and he sounded... Um, intelligent enough to know that he's done wrong in the past, but is there any further discussion? I just think the, uh, the motion ought to be clarified here uh, to, I believe, to accept and adopt, but the, the recommendation is no recommendation, so I think there either ought to be a motion to grant the license or deny the license and then act on it. Do we have a motion from... Alderperson Vanderweel. I'll make a motion to grant the license. Second. We have a motion and a second to grant the license. President Rinfleisch, once more. Um, knowing my vote was to go against Mr. Gruno, um, it probably still maintains that. However, for the council's sake, um, uh, Alderman Vanderweel's vote would have made it 3 2 to grant the license, and we probably wouldn't be here today talking about uh, this candidate. Uh, so. Take that into effect as well, that uh, the recommendation uh, with that motion would probably be to grant the license. Thank you, President Rinfleisch. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. An I vote would grant the license. Rinfleisch? No. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? No. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? No. Belt? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? No. Excuse me? No. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Nope. Koth? Aye. Hiddleston? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Nine eyes, five no's. Licenses granted. Um, will somebody call Mr. Bruno and let, let him know that? Oh, the attorney's office. The attorney's office will. <laughs> okay. 729 to be referred. Report of Committee 8730 by Finance recommending authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2011 budget, establishing revenue and appropriation for, con for contribution from Sheboygan Chevrolet for the Fire Department Thermal Imaging Camera. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, move that the RC be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There's no discussion. Roll call, please. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Pelt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. And Rinfleisch? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Ordinances introduced 10, 731 through 34. Alderman Hammond. I'm sorry, I was going to mention this under discussion. I just think it, it's appropriate to thank Sheboygan Chevrolet for the very generous donation um, to the fire department. Yes, I believe this was a $15,000 donation, wasn't it? Chief. 
7,800. 7, we'll take it. Yeah, very generous of them. And thank you, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Okay, uh, ordinance is introduced 10, 731 through 734 lies over. 735 to be referred. Matters laid over 11, 633, resolution number 32, 11, 12, by Alder Persons Hammond, Rinfleisch, Bourne, Matichek, and Van Akron, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2011 budget, establishing appropriation for, pur for purchase of a replacement vehicle for WSCS Cable TV. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Uh, I move the, me uh, the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There's no discussion. Roll call, please. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Bercy. Aye. Belt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matichek. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. And Sampson. Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries 634. Resolution number 331112 by Alder Persons Hammond, Rinfleisch, Boren, Matichek, and Van Akron, authorizing the purchase of a replacement vehicle for WSCS Cable TV. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There's no discussion. Roll call, please. Vanderweel? Aye. Bercy? Aye. Felt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. And Van Akron? Aye. 14 ayes. Motion carries. Other matters authorized by law. Attorney McLean? by city clerk submitting a communication from Danny Schultz stating he's upset that he can't walk his dog on the beach and requesting that signage be installed to inform the public of the ordinance and suggest the council look into a dog friendly board point. That will be referred to the Board of Parks and Forestry and Public Works. 37 is a communication from Wesley Melton stating his upset over statements made regarding his beverage operator's license application by the assistant city Okay, this uh this is just lie over. Fine. It's supposed to be referred to law and licensing, but I think <coughs> it could just be filed we Can we can we file it at this point? So move. Second. Second. Yes, it could be filed. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Steve. Okay. Yeah, um, we have a motion and a second to file this as we just heard Mr. Melton here this evening. All in favor of filing say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. 738 is communication uh, <clears throat> being a claim from Heather Bowman for alleged damages to her vehicle when she drove over a raised manhole and it hit her transmission pan. That will be referred to risk management. 739 is an ordinance amending section 38-3 of the municipal code relating to wards and aldermanic districts. That lies over. 740 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012 and June 30, 2013. That will be referred to law and licensing. 741 is a resolution directing the city's purchasing agent and the finance department to evaluate, produce, and select an RFP, RFI, or RFQ for cleaning services at all facilities managed or owned by the city. That will be referred to finance. That's all for other matters. Move to adjourn. Second. We have a motion to adjourn in a second. Uh, remind everybody that uh, all everybody is invited to the Highland House, uh, second floor of the building immediately following this. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you.